Yo, 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 what's good, man? It's your boy Gabriel Laver, aka your favorite rapper, and I'm back with another episode of. Sick Talk! No excuse to why I didn't upload this episode last week. I didn't have a haircut, and I feel way better doing videos when I have a haircut. So, I just need to get haircuts more often. But that being said, I got my cigarette, I got my coffee, and we about to get this thing started. I've been changing the cigarettes a lot lately. This is a marble black. Wow. Uh, last episode was American Spirits. They didn't have American Spirits where I was yesterday. But anyway, let's get this started. The timer begins. Drum roll. First question of the day is from Henry with a three. Who is Gabriel Avery? Gabriel Avery is your favorite rapper based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Grew up in Gwinnett County, in Gainesville, Georgia. I've been in Georgia his whole life, never lived outside of Georgia. Was a skater throughout high school. Always loved art and writing, music. Was inspired by hip hop at the age of like three, very early. Wrote my first songs in middle school. I was rapping like other people's verses in elementary school. And I'm just a creative man, this still trying to figure out who I, who I am. At the end of the day, bro, I'm no different than you guys. We're all just, we're just humans. That's who I am, man. Appreciate that question, H. And Walt underscore the underscore name. He said, personal growth and self-development. That's not really a question, but I like it. Those are important things. And that's kind of what I went through the past like year and a half. Recently, I've gotten back into this comfort zone myself and I'm able to make music kind of like I used to make, but I, I kind of just got tired of who I was for a second, and I didn't know why. So I had to experiment with different sounds, different parts of myself, but now I feel like I I grew up a little bit and I'm, and I'm ready to keep going. And yeah, I think, it, I think that shit's very important. Personal growth and self-development is, is key. Appreciate that, man. That wasn't a question, but I'll take it. Mm. Aiden. Medina, I think I said that right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. What genres will you see on the new album? Do you think it's better than Stereotype? So if you didn't know, I'm dropping an album. It's called Your Favorite Rapper. It's really just solely rap. It's all rap. Now there's different sounds of hip rap. There's like hip hop kind of sounds. There's like fun, like auto tune kind of sound. There's like super trapped out. There's pain music. There's like pointless music, but it's all trap so i think that this is one of my best bodies of work i'm gonna leave it up for you guys to decide yeah. obviously i love this project i'm so excited to drop it and i can't wait to show you guys we underscore love underscore technology one two three how old were you when you first started rapping and when did you start taking it seriously like i told y'all i was three years old when i was rapping like i was just rapping people shit. the first song i wrote was in middle school the first time I recorded my shit uh, myself was in high school, like I told y'all in the last episode, so go check that out. And the first time I went to the actual studio, I was like 18. It was dope. And I ain't, I ain't stopped since. Zach Spade, 23, asked, what apps do you use to make your content? I use InShot for videos and Bizarre for cover arts. Rookie shit. I need to get better shit for sure uh guap from the four said is it better to stay independent or sign to a major depends on what you're trying to do depends on what time it is in your career as well um i feel like if you're trying to reach those heights that are just too expensive to reach without yourself then it's time to like partner with a partner with a label but um right now for me i feel like independent is probably the best bet unless i just get like offer I can't really refuse. It's different for everybody. Right now, for me though, I feel like I need to focus on building my fan base and not signing a deal. DB3.ace said, what happened with Authentic? Okay, if you didn't know, Authentic was my last record label. We just decided we wasn't trying to work together anymore and I moved on, but I like this one. Towner Dog 019, favorite candy. Hmm. Oh, I just like gummies, bro. I don't have like a particular brand I just like gummies, the textures to die for. But when it comes to chocolate bars, Twix all day. Gino, D-E-B, Deb, 
Are you planning to work with a major artist soon besides the fact that your music is the same level? I appreciate you recognizing that from my last video. Um, of course, I want to work with a bunch of major artists, but there's no major artist that I've, you know, set something up with right now. Um, I do have a release, another song with Slim Jimmy gonna drop on this new album. Um, but that's the newest one I got coming. Mm. Colin underscore Chamberlain32 asked, this is where we're at right now, so we got like two more questions maybe. Are you satisfied with life as it is right now? Yeah, I'm happy with where my life is right now. Am I content? No, I always want more. White Trash Austin said, would you ever consider dropping Ice Drop or No Feature? No, it's gone, it's old, it's old news. Probably won't ever drop that song. I definitely won't. Um, it's Vexus. What's your favorite tat? You spelled favorite wrong, bro. You put F A V O R I T E. It's F A V R E T T, bro. My favorite tattoo I have. Mm, it's probably these skeleton hands. Cause it's like the painting where they're touching hands with a skeleton. I love it. Oh shit says nature versus nurture. I love nature, bro. I'm going with nature. But I don't know what this means. I just pick nature. Aiden Med Medina said, also, are you gonna make a whole new verse or get another feature for Ready to Die? Long story short, the session for Ready to Die is gone. Deleted, old, bye-bye. Really, I'm just not gonna be able to release that. I might put it on SoundCloud as it is. I got time for one more question. Okay, I like this one. Bully Ben Dead. How have you liked to collaborate in the studio with the vibe of the other artists or do you like being alone and make open verses to send out. I personally like the vibes in the studio and build the chemistry. I love doing that, bro. I love being inspired. That's how I go hard is whenever I get inspired by somebody. So I love working with dope artists in person because I'm able to, you know, run off of their energy. And I might be not be in the best headspace, but whenever I'm in front of that, I don't think about myself so much. And I more so think about it like a friendly competition. And then we just end up building something way doper. I personally, hate sending open verses. Unless I accidentally make something that sounds perfect for somebody, I really don't like doing that shit at all. So that wraps it up. I gotta take this nasty ass hit. And thank you guys for asking these beautiful questions. Y'all definitely ask more questions. I'll put a story thing up soon so y'all guys can ask. And I appreciate y'all. Gang, gang, we out.